Asalaamu Alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah Smile to Jannah <laughs> Tuesday 13th of August 2019 which was a few days ago certain branches of the media and the far right claimed an Islamic terrorist was caught shouting Allahu Akbar after stabbing someone to death and injuring another considering it's the media and Let's face it, we don't trust the media. Let's have a look at the facts. The sister of the attacker confessed that neither he nor the family was practicing. Well of course they're gonna say that now! Duh! Mm, fair enough, but seen as the woman that he stabbed was a prostitute that he just slept with, the case for him not being a practicing Muslim seems quite strong, seen as killing and adultery are major sins within Islam. The police have also indicated that he has mental issues. Yeah yeah, mental issues, more like Islamic terrorist extremist issues. The family also confessed that he's got a history of mental illness and that he escaped from a facility last week. After all he did walk around and say he wanted to die and for people to shoot him. That's not something a sane person would do on a Tuesday afternoon, if you know what I mean. The media seems to be certain that he uttered the words Allahu Akbar. Thanks to the dawn of the old smartphone, we've managed to track down the footage and we can have a look and a listen ourselves. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like Walla Rabba. Hang on a minute, he's gonna have another go. Don't embarrass yourself in front of me. That sounds like Allah Rak Bar. <laughs> what sort of terrorist would he be if he can't even get the punchline right? It's like a magician who can't even say abracadabra. Alara Clara. It's not working, Dave. Why isn't it working? What the hell is this? Billah. Then three Brits using a milk crate managed to apprehend the assailant. The media rightfully hailed them as heroes and brave. That did make me think, here there are three of them. They were young, one was a Thai boxer and they used a crate against a knife. Whilst on the other hand in Norway there were two uncles, both were over the age of 64 and they used their bare hands against a young guy with a gun. I don't remember any headlines hailing the uncle as a hero or even brave. You double standard hypocrite! I guess that explains the hypocritical nature of the media that we've all grown to accept and severely dislike. I'm not gonna say much, I'm not gonna say much. Fix up, fix up, yeah? Anyways guys, hope you benefited from that. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Check out the previous podcast and till next time. Salam Alaikum. What does that mean? It's not Muslim for kill everyone is it? <laughs>